That's that red hot start we all wanted. <laughs> Great to be, get out of here. God damn it. Great to be here, guys, and I mean that. I've been doing a lot of comedy on cruise ships recently because my career has plateaued. <laughs> Got to do a cruise in about two weeks' time. It's a cruise from Brisbane. It's a three-day cruise. It's called the Cruise to Nowhere. It goes out a bit and then just comes back. <laughs> and because you don't need a passport, it fills up with Queensland's least export quality bogus. <laughs> it is... Fucking wild ride. 50% of the women have the same name as the cyclone that's approaching. <laughs> you have squads of people with the same T-shirt. Nana's 40th. Your Nana's 40. What the fuck is happening? <laughs> what is this, wartime? Are we replenishing ranks? Jeez, there's some fertility out there. I've seen it. I'm at the fucking coal face, mate. I'm out there where the rubber meets the road, entertaining the chicken salt of the earth. You don't fucking know what it's like. I got a train from Sydney to Wollongong for a gig, killing it, and this woman opposite me, she gets on, she's eight months pregnant. She's so, it's hu huge belly, and she's playing whale music into her belly on her phone. <laughs> At first, I didn't see the phone. I just thought, that's the noise she makes. A mammal of this size, for sure. And then I was like, oh, oh it's a phone. Okay, it's good. She's playing, she's trying to calm the child down or however many fucking children are in there, at least nine. And, cause in the other hand, she's got a 500 mil can of monster energy drink that she's just waterboarding this netball team. Just <laughs> So it was, monster, it was a can of mother, the irony would have derailed the fucking train. <laughs> and then she's honest, I'm watching this the whole time, loving it. She gets up at her stop, crushes the can, drops it on the floor, puts the phone into the bra to get a few more gamma rays into the breast milk, <laughs> steps off the train, rips out a vape pen, just <laughs> huge hit just to round out the X-Men origin story for the child. <laughs> and you know she'll be out there in four or five years time. My Cody, he's got autism from the vaccines. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I've got a few other theories just quietly. <laughs> I think there's too many people on this planet, we know it. Mother Nature knows it. That's why she's increased the market supply of gay people. There's more gay people on this planet right now than there's ever been before. I don't have any hard data on this, it, but it, it's the vibe, you know? <laughs> For years, gay community, G-A-Y. Now, L-G-B-T-Q-I-A plus. We got seven letters and a symbol. We got two more characters in there. We got a pretty strong password. <laughs> yeah, either way, Operation Rainbow Handbrake is in full effect. <laughs> But I'm not going to have any children myself. I really feel like I don't need to happen again. I see myself as a genetic cul-de-sac. This ends here. <laughs> I've got too many fears if I had a child. One of my greatest fears if I had a child and that child went missing and I didn't seem distraught enough at the press conference. <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure I'd be a mess like everyone else, but what if the night before I have the first 10 hours sleep I've had in over a fucking decade <laughs> and wake up glowing, just peppy. I walk in, everyone's crying, I'm in a Hawaiian shirt. People up the back, well, that cunt did it, didn't he? <laughs> the only time I think I might wanna have children is when I go to a small country town. I get, very, I get very clucky out there in the sticks. And I tell you, if you're a fella in the city, feel a little bit physically insecure, drive four hours inland and have a look around. It's pretty good for morale. <laughs> You know, you have a look around, I've got all my teeth, I could make a fucking move out here. <laughs> I always go into the small town pie shop, because that's where the fucking babes work, mate. That's where that sweet country honey gets poured, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Too much, not enough? Anyway. <laughs> so I go in, white girl behind the counter will be stunning, the jukebox in the back of my head kicks in, just a small town girl. And in my head I'm like, I could save you from this. We could take you to the city, I could show you everything. And I'm fantasizing about my life with her slowly moving forward in the counter, about to say the words to this woman I think I'm gonna spend the rest of my life with. And then she goes, 
What kind of parties? What? Because uh, you know when you can hear DNA? <laughs> you know, not that it's bad DNA, just a little too fertile. <laughs> I've missed my shot. I'd be taking over a lease. How someone sounds, though, is crucial to how compatible you are. Online dating, the apps, some, sometimes you can hear them talk. You press play, you can hear them. It's crucial, especially if you're online dating anywhere north of London in the UK. That's a wild game of accent, Russian roulette. That's a fucking spectrum of accent. Posh, all the way through to paint thinner. <laughs> and I matched with this girl in this town called Stoke-on-Trent, rough joint, and that's coming from me, mate. <laughs> and she's walking towards me at the bar. She's beautiful. This is the first thing she says. Uh, I'm so hungover. Uh. <laughs> and I was like, stunning, but the voice of a fucking bridge troll. And in my head, I'm like, we're just going to drink through this. And I said, do you want to go to the bar? Do you want to do a shot? And she goes, I love Sam Buka. <laughs> <laughs> what are the odds? And then, so we, we go to the bar. Three hours later, we're shit-faced. She dragged me into a hedge behind the pub, behind the chicken and the spoon pub or whatever the fucking... The animal and the object pub <laughs> that they have there. And she got me in there and she took down my pants and she gave me a compliment, but it was the tone. It still scares me today. She took down my pants and she went, Ooh, that's a nice sized stoinker. Do you mind if I give it a suck? And I was like, what kind of chimney sweep apparatus is a stoinker? What, what kind of Charles Dickens nightmare am I living in here? And my penis audibly went, no. <laughs> Didn't want to get a sexually transmitted accent. <laughs> you guys, I'm Jacques Barrett. Thank you very much for coming out. <laughs> <laughs>